two years ago, I started noticing my hair was super brittle. I was having a really hard time with making sure that my hair was like moisturized and that it was, that it looked the way I wanted it to look. I could never wear it down. I could never wear it because it was so thin too. And I was getting really, really unhappy with it. And I was like, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what the next step is. And I kept, like, I kept hearing that a great way to take care of your hair is just to do stretches in between relaxing your hair. A lot of people, when they relax their hair, they'll do like a new relaxer every like two weeks, once a month. Like, you know what I mean? Like they'll do, they do a lot. And I was, I mean, I wasn't like that. I was already waiting six weeks, I think. So I knew already that I was in a position where I, where I was, my hair was healthier than most. I wasn't relaxing it like monthly. I wasn't relaxing it every other week. I wasn't, like I already waited three months, I think was my usual time. Actually it was like five years ago. I just started deciding, okay, well I'm gonna do once every six months then because it's not huge issue to take care of it like between that time it's mostly i'm just detangling with my fingers because this area i think there's a single strand knot that is just latching on other things yep that's what it was and i didn't want to rip out that entire section for a single strand knot i wasn't relaxing my hair constantly so i was so i was already doing like six month stretches um which is like what everyone recommends to help your hair get stronger and then my like, you know how, um, if you've never relaxed your hair before, you know how every once in a while your um, shampoo like will just stop working and you have to like find a new shampoo? That happens with relaxer too. I was already in a position where I was already doing what everyone said to do to keep my hair healthy. It was just getting like weaker and thinner and more brittle and I couldn't wear it down anymore because it was so in like it just looked just awful and I didn't know what to do after a while I was just kind of like okay I don't know what to do so then I was like you know what maybe I'll do a longer stretch like I don't know what else to do so my relaxer started to not work anymore it started to just not straighten my hair like it used to because it used to get my hair like initially when I first tried it it got my hair like bone straight it was amazing and then just after a while after like using it for four or five years, it just stopped. Like it just no longer putting um, Cantu. You gonna focus? Of course you're not. Of course you're not. Uh, Cantu like leave-in conditioner for natural hair. I put that in first, and then I put and then I put tea tree oil in my hair. Or coconut oil if I have it. I do not have it right now, so I'm putting tea tree oil in. And then I put in this leave-in conditioner repair cream. I probably actually could switch these. I think I was doing that before, but I like this way too. Tea tree oil I use is just this one. It's like, I mean, like if you buy it in New York, it's five dollars for some reason, which is why I buy it in Pennsylvania, where it's like one ninety nine. <laughs> so it was just kind of like not working. Like it used to work, con it used to work really, really well, and used to, you know, straighten my hair like amazingly. I remember the first time I used it, I was so amazed with how great it worked and how it straightened my hair exactly as I wanted it. It had the exact amount of like bounce and everything, the perfect look. I loved it. And then, I just after a few years, it just kind of stopped working, and I never figured out exactly what the difference was in my hair or. The product maybe it was a different formula I don't know but it just stopped working so I was like okay well then now I need a new one so I need something to replace that one and I loved that one so much so this other box and I'm not gonna name either one of those because if I name one that you'll know exactly what I'm talking about is the other one the other one is kind of close to it it was kind of like a natural product or sets on the label but still contained the awful terrible chemicals that cause relaxing anyway but it was like a natural version of that so I was like, okay, well, let me use, so I used that, the natural version of um, the awfulness that is relaxing chemicals. It said it was just as natural. It said it was just as awesome of a product. It said it worked just as well. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna use it. So I put it in my hair and the first time it straightened it, but like not great, and I, but it did better than the other one. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll use it again. 
So I put it in my hair a second time, and that time is when I noticed that this had happened. And there was just nothing that I could do. It was gone, the hair was gone, and I had had situations where relaxer had burned off my hair before. Like that's not, like unless you go to the salon every single time, like you've had those situations where your hair just pieces out. <laughs> like I think it happened to me twice before. It had never been straight up bald, but it had ended up like shaving it down to like really, really low. So I'd had that happen before but I'd never had this happen where it was just baldness. And I was like, okay, that's new. And then the rest of my hair was super brittle. And I was like, I don't know what to do with this. So I was like, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to give my hair a year to just kind of come back to health because it's really not okay right now. And I don't know what to do with this. So I'm going to give it a year to just kind of grow back in and I'm going to do all of the things that I find online to fix bald spots, to fix relaxer burn, to fix whatever it is you wanna call it, to fix what had happened to my hair. So I did all of the things and then a year passed and it had not, I mean, it had grown on a little bit, like not entirely. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just keep going but by then, I'd started to, like, my research to find ways to fix it, I started to see a lot of natural hair videos. And you know the natural hair community, and if you don't, you should definitely check it out. I started to see a lot of natural hair videos where people were talking about how amazing their hair is now, and how much they love it, and how much fun it is, and how, much, how many fun things I could do with it. So I was like, okay, well then I guess this is what I'm doing. <laughs> so then I was kind of like, well, I don't love what's happening with my hair now but by a year I had like this much growth and I was kind of like well what's the curl pattern there and what's happening and what exactly does it look like and what would it look like if I let it go for another year so I kind of made the decision because I mean also that hadn't grown in yet so I was like well let me just go natural I'm mostly there you know like I just had and like the more and more my hair grew out the more I could see how thin it had gotten. Now that I had like my natural, thick, curly hair, I could see how much hair wasn't there from before. And even now, it's been 20 months since I went natural. And I, like even now, I can see the end of my hair is kind of thin, even though none of it's for relaxed. Here is, is like really thick. And I can tell you right now, like there's some hair that's out here, or there's some hair that's in here that is not long enough to be out here. I can tell you that right now. And um, I think that's because of the fact that like I'd been relaxing so much, I was like slowly going bald. But because I'm literally just, like the only thing that's been in my hair, I think I dyed it red, but it's a super subtle red, so you can't even see because I was nervous. So I dyed it red, but aside from that hair dye, which is like a super conditioning hair dye and I did like everything we were supposed to do after to like make sure it was super nice. You know, and I super conditioned my hair. This hair has not touched a blow dryer in a year, in almost two years. This hair has not touched a straightener in, two, in almost two years, in 20 months. This hair, like, and it's all virgin, all of this. This is all that's grown in 20 months and, um, and none of it has touched any kind of anything aside from that hair dye which was super subtle and really didn't change my hair that much. Aside from that, like it's still like 4B, C in certain areas. Um, but yeah, it's it's still, oof, it's still super like, I don't know, makes me happy. In case you're wondering, I'm doing Bantu knots. So I'm just twisting it like this with some um, Eco Styler. I use the, um, the olive oil kind because it's nice for my hair. So I just twist that there, do a quick twist, and then I keep twisting until it starts to twist in on itself, like it just did. Um, so yeah, it just kind of bends, and then I twist it around that, like so. And then after a while, it just knees, like that. Yay, on to the next one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really excited right now because I'm working on this card 
that actually just broke and I just googled how to fix it and I fixed it. Yay!